Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial for um, this coaster um, here. One of my subscribers asked me if I'd do a, um, a, a tutorial um, for them. These are both the same, just I've changed different colours. With this one I've got mostly yellow here and I've got different colours and the only difference to this one here between the two lots of clusters here, I made a, um, a chain. But on this one, between the two lots of clusters, I went down into the space and done a, um, a double crochet down into there. That's double crochet if you're um, in the UK, but it's single crochet if you're not, if you're in the United States or anywhere like that. So this is the five colours I'm using. or a tiny little bit of white here I'm going to do for the centre. Because it's a little bit, I know there's enough there to do the um, the centre and I'll work out the other colours as I go along. So, move them out of the way. And you need a crochet hook, I'm using a 4mm. Don't know if you can see it, it's 4mm crochet hook. A darning needle. And a pair of scissors. So I'll blow this up a bit. I'll start with the. I'm going to do a magic um, circle. You just put the um, the yarn over your your fingers like that, and take the the back the back part of the yarn, and bring it through the front. And then you have the tail end here, which you pull to tighten when you're, you're done. But I'm going to do three triple crochet. And I'm going to do 12 into the space. That'll be 12 with the, um, the one I've just done. And that's round one, and I'll meet you at the end of round one. And that's 12, triple crochet. Now I'm going to join it onto the, the first, and the top of the, the first triple crochet that I did. And I'm using a slip knot. And then just fasten that off. That's that's the first round done. And the reason it's called um, a magic knot is you can see there's a large hole in the middle. And you just pull that pull that tight and it closes up the um the hole. Now the next round round two I'm going to use the purple. And you can start anywhere in any space in the um the round that I'm working into the spaces, not the actual stitches. So I'll start here. And this round I'm doing two triple crochet and one chain into every space. So that's one. Triple crochet. And I'm working the, the end of the yarn, instead of leaving it to sew it off, I'm working it into the, um, the round as I go around. And put the wool over the, over the hook like that and just work. I haven't put the, the yarn over. And you just work it in as you go around. So that's two, two triple crochet with the um the three chain, and then I'll do one chain, and it's two cro triple crochet into the next space, 
I keep forgetting to put my yarn over. I'm bringing that end over again. It saves you having to sew all those little bits in afterwards. Another one. And one chain. And that's that's that row, that's um two triple crochet and one chain all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of round two. And I'm at the last two. Triple crochet into the into the last space. And I'll join that. In the top of the um the first chain is slip knot. Cut that off. Just slip it through and that leaves a little knot there too, a little bit to work in. And I've worked in the, um, the little bits from the back here and I'm going to cut those off. And that's how that the second round looks and now I'm going to do the the third round in the um the yellow and the third round is just three triple crochet into each space and one chain and that's easy to it's easy to remember this pattern because see so one two three four and five that's how the um the patterns worked so again with this one i'm going to start anywhere With three triple three chain. I'll start there again. It's make three chain in a, a space anyway. And I'm going to do work this bit of yellow in as I go along. So it's three three triple crochet into each space working the yellow in as you the cast the, the edge where you casted it on and then it's one chain and three triple crochet into the next into the next space and one chain and I'll work that in again on the next space and then when I come to this bit I'll work that in the same way that I have done with the um, the yellow and I'll meet you at the end of round three and I'm on to the last three triple crochet on round three
that's three triple crochet one chain and then join to the top of the the first triple crochet with a slip slip stitch slip that off and that's how that that round looks so that's one two three and I'm on to the fourth round I'm going to do that in the um the cream this is a little bit different there's still four going into um into each space but there's going to be two chain in the middle of the four so we'll start anywhere on the round again yeah so I'm going to do two chain three chain sorry three chain pick the, the bit of yarn up from behind again and work it in so that's two chain I oh, shift this other all out the way put a bit out on there so that's two triple two triple crochet and then it's two chain and two more triple crochet into that same space and then one chain and then we go to the next space and it's two more triple crochet Working the end in again into the the space, and then two chain, two more triple crochet, and one chain. And I'll do that all the way on that round. So I'll see you at the end of that round. Round. Now I'm on to my last four triple crochet. That's one. Two. Two chain. Two more triple crochet One chain Now make a well, That's into the the top of the the top of the ch the first chain and we we'll make a slip stitch through that cut that off And that's round four and this one you can see has a little peaks in the middle of the four triple crochet and that's where I'm going to do the next round into those peaks not into the space so I'm using green this is two strands of um, yarn I'm knitting together because it's quite fine 
I'm crocheting together, not knitting, sorry. So with this one, you go into the first, into any, any little loop on the top. And I'm going to do five triple crochets inside that loop. So that's one with the, um, the chain, the three chain. And working the, the cast on edge in at the same time. This is a little bit more difficult. I have to be a bit more careful with the two strands here. That's two. Three. Four. Five. So that's a cluster of five into that loop and then I'm going to do a double crochet into the space, into this space here. The single crochet if you're in the, um, the United States. And then I'm going to do five triple crochet again into the next loop. The same as what I did before. that's five and then into that space I'm going to do a double crochet and I'll meet you at the end of that round and I'm on to the last cluster of five into that little peak there One, two, three, four. five and then one double crochet into the last space and then a slip stitch into the, the top of the first and I'll cut this off and I'll leave it for quite a long end for the to sew in And there's your another variation, those two. Like I said, it's just all you need to think of is this, it's one, two, three, four, and five. And the fourth and the fifth ones have extra chains or extra stitches um, to it. But um, that's that one uh, finished. So if you like my little tutorial, thumbs up and subscribe 
and I'll show you when I get more done. So bye for now.